Hey guys, Casper Rude here, and I'm about to learn some Chinese culture. You know, I've only seen like settings like this in on TV and movies. I don't know, it's really cool to be here in, in person. Yeah, this is my first time in Beijing. Uh, I'm really happy to be here. It's my third time here in Beijing, and I'm really enjoying being here. Uh, today we're at Poetry Wine. Trying a bunch of Chinese foods. Just getting the opportunity to try all the dishes and all the different flavors and foods has been awesome. Uh, trying the Peking duck is something that's been my favorite. I eat that a lot at home, but trying some of these traditional dishes is, uh, has been really nice and really fun. There's this place in Oslo where I usually go for like a nice massage, and I, you hear this like this type of music, but it's not like authentic, like she's playing here, so uh, it's nice to actually experience how it's supposed to be. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Not Beautiful bad. little exhibition that we got there from Miss Jung. It was fun getting a try it for myself as well. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> so good. <laughs> so first you look. Really good. For me, I'm a simple guy. I typically just go with English breakfast tea if, if I want tea. It's fun exploring something else, you know, it's... Yeah, it smells good. I don't usually like tea, but I usually like a lot of sugar in it, you know? I finished my best. <laughs> I really liked it. <laughs> I'm the hostess now. Want some tea, Maria? <laughs> I already have a full cup, but... Uh, it has a scent of uh, honey. The, the letters that they use here can turn into art just by one letter at a time. I'm happy that he gave me a gift and I will bring it back home to Norway. I've never been to China before, so it's really cool to experience these different things and I appreciate the Chinese people and the people at the courtyard for allowing me to be a part of this experience. <laughs> For me too. Yes, thank you. 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 Thank you.